Bring in our Jew good dance. Na dance yang ba ba fa nya na dance yang ku iwe chombo chako. A long time ago, the Bible tells us that there was a young boy who made sure that his hands, his eyes, his ears, his words, everything about him feared and honored God. He loved God. But the people in his country did not fear and honor God. So God kept on telling them, fear and honor me. And they were like, ah! So what God did is he sent another king into that country and he took everybody captive and took them to his country. So when they got there, the king noticed that this young boy is different. He's different because his words, his thoughts, everything about him is different. And then he decided he was going to employ him to become one of his advisors. And then this boy also had three other friends. Now, the name of the young boy was called Daniel. He was called who? Daniel. And he had three friends. Does anybody know the three friends of Daniel? Yes. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Now, those were their nicknames. What were their real names? Those were their nicknames. You know, like there you have Albert, you call him Albo. So their real names were Hananiah, Mishael, and Azaria. They were called who? Hananiah, Mishael, and Azaria. So these guys were different, and the king said, I want you to be part of my advisors. Now, one day, the king went to bed, and he slept. Everybody help me sleep. And as he was sleeping, the king had a dream. And he kept pushing the dream away. <laughs> but the dream would not go. And then he woke up in a start and said, yeah. <laughs> That was one scary dream. And then he said, but that dream must have had a meaning. What could be the meaning of this dream? So the next day he called all his advisors, or part of his advisors. And he told them, my friends, I had a dream and I wanted to tell me the meaning. And the advisors told him, Ah, Your Excellency, that is easy. Just tell us what you dreamt, and we are going to tell you the meaning of the dream. And the king looked at them and said, No, I will not tell you what I dreamt. This time it's going to be different. You will tell me what I dreamt, and you will also tell me the meaning of that dream. He goes like, Mayo. Everybody say, Mayo. Mayo. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. He's in Ghana, Sasa. He's in Ghana, Sasa. When the king says, Don't Mayo, me, don't do. I am telling you, you will tell me what I dreamt. And you will tell me the meaning. If you do not tell me that, ni tawa kata kata kama skuma wiki. And I'm going to destroy all your homes. And I'm going to make sure nobody will ever know you existed in this country. And they went like, Mayo. Ay, 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 ay. He told him, King, it's not possible. Nobody has ever done this. It's not possible. And the king said, Because you're wasting my time, soldiers, get hold of these people, put them in prison. And on an appointed day, I am going to tell you when you're going to cut them up into pieces. And then he told the soldiers, I want you to go even for those, ad those, um, those advisors of mine who are not here. Go to the whole country, look for them, and bring them and take them to prison. So one of the advisors who was not in that meeting was called Daniel. So the soldiers went to Daniel's house and with a big bang, they go, pa, 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 Daniel, get out. And then he was like, hi, what's happening? He said, you are under arrest by the orders of the king. And then Daniel looked at him and said, Nime vanya. He looked at him and said, Nime vanya. Sasa nime do. 
And the soldier told him what the king had done, how he had dreamt, and how he had asked his advisors to tell him what he had dreamt and the meaning. And because he was not able to do that, he was going to be put in prison, and on a particular day, he was going to be cut into pieces. So now he said, would you kindly allow me to go and see the, 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 the king? And he was like, go ahead and see the king. And so when he went before the king, he told him, king, listen, I want you to give me just one day. Can you give me one day? And then I am going to pray and God is going to give us an answer. So he went and the king said, go ahead. So he went and called his three friends. Do you remember the names of the three friends? Yeah. Hananiah, Mishael. Mishael and Azaria. And he went and called them and he told them, Wase wase. Ah, si mwenye ambia, wase wase. Ni kunoma, sema kunoma. Kunoma. Ni kudia lala, sema kudia lala. Sema kumefia tuka, sema kufia tuka. Ni kulonzero, sema kulonzero. Ni kuengeche. Lakini musitensi. And I said, what, what are you talking about? What's happening? And then he told them what had happened. So then they agreed, now what we are going to do is we are going to hold hands and we are going to pray. And they held hands and they prayed and they prayed. Then they said, what you're going to do is everybody will go to their own house and we are going to pray. And I'm sure God is going to give us an answer. So everybody went to their house and the whole of that night they prayed and they prayed and they prayed. And then in the middle of the night, God gave Daniel the answer. He showed Daniel what the king had dreamt and he also showed him the meaning of that dream. And then Daniel stood up and he was like, who is like my God? He said, you pomungu binguni asikia ye maombi yetu you pomungu binguni ayajibu in the morning he went looking for the soldier who had come to arrest him and he told him take me to the king and when he saw the king he told him your excellency I have an answer for you and then he told the king what he had dreamed and the meaning of the dream and the king was like oh my goodness he got from his throne went and stood before Daniel and then he lay flat and he said, surely, everybody say, surely, surely, there is no God, there is no God, like the God of Daniel, like the God of Daniel, no, you guys are not understanding, the king was shocked and he said, surely, surely, there is no God, there is no God, like the God of Daniel, like the God of Daniel, and then he also stood up and said, asiki I am on me. Ajibuye kwa moto Bwana umaminifu Asikia ya maombi Ajibuye kwa moto anything from this story? Yes, Uncle Paul, I learned something. What did you learn? So, first of all, I learned that it is good to have good friends. Ah, a look at your friend and say, my friend. My friend. It is good to have good friends. It is good to have good friends. See, you guys are the back there. You guys are the back there. It is good to have friends. It is good to have friends. You see, when Daniel was in trouble, he had friends that he could go to. 
they could be able to share their fears, they could be able to share the things that they do not know about. And they were able to pray together. Look at your friend and say, my friend. My friend. It is good to have friends. It is good to have friends. Friends you can pray with. Friends you can pray with. See, so then you also tell them, my friend. My friend. I can be your friend. I can be your friend. I can pray with you. I can pray with you. So lesson number one is that it is good to have good friends. Care. Do you think, did you learn anything? Yes, I did. What gave us? What did you learn? There is nothing to hide from God. Ah, yes. Look at your friend and say, my friend. My friend. There is nothing to hide for God. There is nothing to hide for God. Actually, you can also tell them, by the way, the God of Daniel. The God of Daniel is my God. Is my God. And there is nothing. And there is nothing too hard for my God. Too hard for my God. You see, it's one. You see, every one of us is limited. There are things that your parents can do for you. There are things that your teachers can do for you. There are things that your pastors can do for you. But there are some things that only God can do. And the beautiful thing is that there is nothing too hard for God. Look at your friend and say, my friend. My friend. There is nothing too hard for God. There is nothing too hard for God. The third lesson is this. I'd like us to remember. The third lesson is this. We can always go to God in prayer. Look at your friend and say, ah, my brother. Ah, my brother. Now, if it's your sister, you say, ah, my sister. Ah, my sister. You can always go to God in prayer. You can always go to God in prayer. You see, when things are tough, you can go to God. When you are happy, you can go to God. So you don't just go to God when things are bad. You go to God at any given time. So look at your friend and say, my friend. My friend. You can always go to God in prayer. You can always go to God in prayer. Three lessons today is that it is good to have friends. Yes, and not just friends, but good friends. You see, some friends, when you go and tell them you're in trouble, they tell you, ay, 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 you're finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know you can also have friends when you have made a mistake and they tell you, ah, don't worry, we can pray about it and God will give us a solution. Number two, there is nothing too hard for. And number three, it is always, you can always go to God in prayer. Let us pray. And say this prayer after me and say, Dear Lord, Dear Lord, thank you for teaching us. Thank you for teaching us. From the book of Daniel. From the book of Daniel. Chapter 3. Chapter 3. That Lord, that Lord, we should have good friends. That we should have good friends. Make me a good friend, Lord. Make me a good friend, Lord. Thank you for teaching us. Thank you for teaching us. That we can always come to you in prayer. That we can always come to you in prayer. Show me the way to you, O oh Lord. Show me the way to you, O oh Lord. And dear Lord. And dear Lord. Thank you for teaching us. Thank you for teaching us. That there is nothing too hard for you. That there is nothing too hard for you. Teach me to trust you, Lord. Teach me to trust you, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for these lovely children and the teachers and their parents and all the community of Marion School. Lord, we pray that you bless them and bless them indeed. I pray that, Lord, they would hear you when you speak to them. And you'd also hear them when they call out to you and answer them from heaven. Bless them, O oh Lord God. We pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody stretch your hands like this, and we are going to bless you. So children and teachers and parents who are not here and the staff of Marion School, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord turn favorably towards you and grant you his peace. Amen. And may Christ, the Son of Righteousness, scatter all darkness before your path. And may the blessing of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you.